What just happened to Terra Classic and the entire crypto market? Everything is down by 10%, 15%, some coins even up to 30%. What happened the last 24 hours that made this giant pullback and can we recover and what's going to happen to Terra Classic in the future? We're going to check out everything today, so watch the entire video to really find out all the latest information about crypto and Terra Luna Classics. So let's go. So go here to core market cap, you can see the price of Terra Classic is basically at 0 0.0017. We're down by 23%. The mark cap right now is at $1.1 billion. And the volume is at $459 million. The volume did go up, but this is actually selling volume. Now, what happened? If you go here to the chart, we can see that the massive drop. We dropped all the way down here at 1.2, 0 0.0012. But we bounced back off, and now we're still trying to stabilize here. So, I did talk about this giant massive triangle that we've been, that we've been forming. But in the end, we did break to the downside. Now, what? was a callus why did we go down did something bad happen to uh, luna classic that made it go down the answer is no nothing really happened directly to luna classic but to ftx and solana and because of this we just had a massive market uh pull down so the, the entire market did go down if you check out bitcoin it made its biggest low literally it made its biggest low since the 18th of june we just made basically the biggest low and Bitcoin reached all the way here to 17,000 and almost 300. So we did go down. We made a massive pullback, exact same thing. We had another triangle here, but in the end, we broke in through the downside and we continue to go down even more. So why did this happen? Why are we going down? What is the news that happened? Well, it's all about FTX. Look at this first. Look at this. All crypto FTT FTX main coin 75% down. It's 75% down. You can see Solana almost down here by 40%. So many altcoins here. So many big tokens going down by 20%. We got Link here. Axie Infinity here going down. Quant 13%. Crow coin minus 20%. Everything is going down. And it's everything because of what happened here to FTX. So if we do continue, we have something some big news that could save the day here. But even if it does save the day, it's going to gradually go up again. We're not gonna see massive pumps like we used to because now people are super afraid to buy. So some time needs to pass again. So if we go down what happened here in the end, FTX X started to make some big mistakes. I'm not going to go into all, the whole entire drama. You can go into the drama if you do want so. But there's the main point here. FTX doesn't have enough funds right now. FTX is a big exchange company. And right now what's happening is that Binance, CZ, the CEO of Binance, is going to maybe even purchase FTX to save it. So it says here... This afternoon, FTS asked, asked, us, asked us for our help. There's a significant liquidity crunch to protect users. We signed a non-binding LOI intending to fully acquire FTX.com and help cover the liquidity crunch. We'll, we will be conducting a full DD in the coming days. So if you continue to read this, it says here, there is a lot to cover and will take some time. This is a highly dynamic situation and we are... As, Assessing the situation in real time, Binance has the direction to pull out the deals at any time. We expect FTT to, to be highly volatile in the coming days as things uh, develop, so stay safe. So, this is what happened. And then the CEO of FTX is what he said, saying, Hi y'all, I have a few announcements to make. So things have come full circle. And FTX.com is first and last investors are the same. We have come to an agreement on a strategy transaction with Binance for FTX.com. So our teams are working on clearing out the withdrawal backlog as is. This will clear out liquidity crunches. All assets will be covered one to one. This is one of the main reasons we've asked Binance to come in. It may take a bit to settle, etc. We apologize for that. But the important thing is that customers are protected. A huge thank you to CC Binance and all of our supporters. This is a user-centric development that benefits the entire industry CZ has done and will continue to do an incredible job of building out the global crypto ecosystem and creating a freer economic world. It just sounds like he's like leaving. It just sounds like this guy is leaving and giving everything to CZ like, hey, 
here, here's a mess. Take care of this mess. They see asking for a bailout here. I know that there have been rumors in the media of conflict between our two exchanges. However, Binance has shown time and time again that they are committed to a more decentralized global economy while working to improve industry relations with regulators. You are in the best of hands. Now, if you continue here, all saying here the FTX US and Binance US have nothing together so now. So FTX US is still working, it's still back one to one and up it's operational. And we have this meme here. <laughs> oh yeah, a meta research and we have CZ here with the sink. So yeah, he's a new owner. <laughs> so pretty interesting, but still, still really, 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 really bad day for crypto. Like another massive drop. Like just a massive, massive drop. If you check out Luna Classic again, we can see that all the pump we had before, so the pump we had all the way here to 0 0.006 almost, we lost it all. So we lost it all, but now we're trying to stay buds again, but this is still really sad to see that we have been going down. Now again, what needs to happen today is that we need to start to stabilize slowly and hope we're not going to go down anymore. We check out Bitcoin again because we have to look at Bitcoin. It's super oversold right now. You can see here. Let's go actually to the one day chart. But I still think there. Yeah, even there. Look at that. Look at that massive strike down. Boom. So basically, again, oversold. The chance here that we could go, look at this, and historically, we did go lower with RSI. So there is a chance here that we could go even lower. All depends on the next couple of days what's going to happen with the news. Because uh, with the deal right now, uh, Binance can back out whenever they want. That's the thing. So if Binance sees some shady things happening with FTX, they're not going to acquire FTX. They're not going to bail them out. And that's it because that's not a good business move. That's it. So if that happens, I do believe we're going to see even more selling because people are going to be absolutely afraid and a lot of funds will be logged in FTX. So turbulence is still to come here from everything that's been happening. We just made a massive bearish cross. Look at that giant bearish cross. It's you making another bearish cross. Like the second, like, like we made a, a double bullish cross here and that could it could have made the whole thing continue to go up but because of this because of these news there's not there's nothing we can do anymore we're again going to continue to go down maybe hopefully bitcoin starts to stabilize here the next couple of hours next couple of days and then we, maybe we can survive the problem is a lot of funds have been lost right now and what could happen right now is that other companies can go bankrupt in crypto now so that's the biggest thing that could happen and it could be a really really bad move here for crypto because if these companies start to get liquidated all of them will go down we have some big tips here from also from uh cz so cz had been giving out some really really important tips saying here uh two big lessons never use a token you created as a collateral so Basically, don't use your own tokens collateral. Don't borrow if you run a crypto business. Don't use capital efficiently. Have a large reserve. So basic here, do not take money. Do not borrow money if you're doing crypto because it's highly unstable. The problem with crypto is still that we can go up 5%, 10%, 15% a day, but we can also go down by 20%. Those are big moves. That's a lot of mo money moving up and moving down. That's why having uh, borrowing money is the worst idea. Just have a large reserve. You have to have capital in your reserve. The more capital you have, the more safe you are. But if that capital is borrowed capital, then everything is will blow back over. So Binance has never used BNB for collateral and we have never taken on debt. There you go. There you go. This is super important because that means that uh, basically there's nothing that can pull them down. There's no chain with Binance that's going to make everything go down like with everything else. That's the biggest thing. There's nobody they need to bail out of their company. There's no reason they need like extra funds to give out to some other uh, companies. That's the whole point here. So they're doing a really good job here. Hopefully CZ is going to make something here and actually make it survive. If not, it's going to be a big, big problem here because a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money because FT FTX was the third biggest exchange in crypto and now it's blowing. It's exploding in real time.
in real time we're watching the doom of FTX. That's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Hopefully the prices still will start to recover. But like I said, we have to be still patient because there's still a lot of information that we're missing. There's a lot of bad things that could happen to trigger another crash here for crypto. So do be aware of that. Please be careful and watch what you're doing. So maybe you can do some shorts. It's all depends on what you're going to do, but it's still pretty difficult here. But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.